today we're going to demonstrate how to streak a plate. So one thing we want to do is we want to make sure we're working aseptically. So we have a Bunsen burner going in the general neighborhood of where we're working. We're going to need something to streak from. So we have some BTK here and we're going to need something to streak on. So we have some plates. So streaking a plate's really easy. What you need is something to streak with, and those are loops. We're going to use disposable loops. If you use a, um, a reusable loop, a, a titanium or steel loop, uh, the procedure is only very slightly different. You flame the loop each time. With these disposable loops, they're sterile. They're in a bag. We're not going to flame them. Um, in fact, please don't flame them. They'll melt in the flame. Um, but uh, the procedure is only slightly different. Whether you're using a disposable loop or a uh, flamed loop, what you're going to do is you're going to put some of your sample on the loop and then you're going to add it to the plate. And the goal is to um, spread it out on the plate. What you're doing is a dilution on the plate. So you're going to take some of your sample on the loop and you're going to spread it out. We're doing this inside the plate, of course. Using the loop, you're going to spread it out just on a small segment of the plate. If you like, what you can do is you can draw uh, some segments on the plate. You don't have to do that, but if it helps you, you certainly can. Or just imagine it. So you're going to put some sample on your plate, and you're just going to kind of draw a line on the bottom of your plate. And then you're going to either reflame your loop, if it's a metal loop, or toss that now contaminated loop away and grab a new one. You're then going to take this new loop and you're going to drag it through the sample and then spread that little bit that you took from here into that new region. And so what you've done is you've just diluted a little bit of this and spread it out. That's a dilution, right? And then you can either flip the loop over and use the clean side of it or toss it and get a new one. And then you're going to do the same thing. You're going to drag through here one time and then spread it out. And so what we've done is we've diluted the sample on the plate. Very simple, right? And so let's see what that looks like in real life. So we have a plate here. It's already labeled. Remember you want to label your plates. You want to label them not on the top because lids come off, right? Label them on the bottom because that's also how we store them. We store them upside down. So we've got it. Uh, we've, I've got my name on it. I've got the date. And what I'm putting on it, it's, got, it's going to have BTK, the bacteria that we use in the phage hunter's lab. And here are some cells, BTK. So we'll use these loops. They're in a sealed bag. We're going to pop one open. Now, you don't just reach in because we want them to stay sterile. So we're just going to kind of slide one up so that I'm only touching that one. I'm going to take just one colony. Now I'm going to imagine that little quarter. And I'm just going to draw a little line. This loop is done. So I'm going to throw it away into a waste bin. Now I'm going to get a new loop. Touching just that one, all the rest of them go back. Now, if you're, if you kind of move this in the light, you can see where you drew, right, right there. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go through it one time. And I'm going to spread it out into that second quarter. I'm going to flip the loop over to the side that we didn't use. Go through it, and then I'm going to spread that out into the whole half of the plate that we didn't touch. What you have to make sure is that you don't drag into that original part or else you're undoing the dilution. You want to do it quickly. You don't want to be breathing into this plate or else you're going to lead, uh, contaminate it. But that's all there is to it. You've just spread, uh, you've just streaked a plate. Your cells will be, uh, will grow on here and what you'll see is something like that, right? You have a, a very dense part here that'll slowly uh, be, um, this is a little overgrown, unfortunately, but because <laughs> it was left in the incubator too long, but will slowly be
be less dense throughout the plate. That's the, what you do if you're um, streaking from another plate or solid material. You use these nice big loops. But sometimes, especially in the Phage Hunter's lab, you're going to need to streak from liquids. And then you can use these if you have a lot of liquids, say maybe you're streaking from a tube like this. Or sometimes you may be streaking from a tube like this where you can't get very far into the tube or it's way down in there. Then we have smaller loops that you can use. When you're doing your initial tests and you only have 100 microliters in, uh, in the tube, these yellow loops don't reach all the way down to the bottom. We have these blue loops. Blue loops, the only difference, much, much smaller and pick up a smaller sample. But when you have your initial samples here, they pop right in. I'll pick up some of your phage. And again, you're going to mark it. You're, you're going to do that first uh, streak here. And then you get rid of that. And then whether you stick with a blue or switch to a yellow is entirely up to you. It doesn't really matter. I like the yellow ones because they're going to spread more. You can see kind of from the, uh, the way the light shines, at least when it's still wet, where that initial streak was, right? So we'll drag it and then flip and drag to cover the rest. Now, with the sample that I just made in Phage Hunters, what I just streaked was actually bacteriophage. And what we're going to be doing with this plate is pouring top auger over this. And we want to be careful that we pour it starting from where the most dilute portion of the streak is. So whenever you do this, make a little mark. We know that we started here, went here, and then went there. So let's make a little mark right here, just so we know when it dries up, it's going to be hard to see that that's where the streak ended, because we're going to be pouring top auger from here in that direction. That'll be on the next video. And that's all there is to it.